Hello everyone, this is Jamie and I'm back again with another unboxing flip through video and this time we are going to take a close look at Letero du Feminin Sacre. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. It is a French tarot deck and this is one of the decks that I picked up while in Paris and I told you guys I was super excited about doing another unboxing video for you. My previous video was actually my first unboxing video ever, and so this will be my second. And let's take a close look at the box. It's by Floriana Nativo, illustrations by Franco Rivoli, and it's Editions Exergu. I don't speak French, my friends, so please forgive me if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly. Let's take a look at the back of the box. And of course, it's all written in French. I'm assuming that this tarot deck is primarily focused on uh, powerful women, uh, myths, and I think they're all uh, surrounded by women, or women are the primary focus of this particular tarot deck. All right, let's see if I can open this box without making a complete mess. Okay. Straight away, I noticed that this deck has a really nice box, so I'm excited to see what the contents are like. Oh, it's a nice sturdy box. A look at the inside. Nice material, it's a, it's a nice sturdy box. All right, I'll put that there. Let's see, wow. There's a nice booklet here. Curious to see if there are any translations. And it appears to be descriptions of each card. And then the meanings. And by the looks of it, there are no other language translations. So this is going to be an entirely French tarot deck, which, I mean, I would expect that. I did pick it up in France. So let me just set this up and we will take a look at each of the cards in the deck. Uh, this was sort of like a souvenir for myself. Wow, okay. The back of the box again. Let's see. Okay, here are the backs of the cards. Oh, okay, there's a band. I was like, oh no. They're sort of stuck together. A little plastic band. Very smooth uh, cards. Very glossy. Uh, the cardstock itself is nice and they're gilded. They're gold gilded. So that's the back of the card. Let's see if there are any filler cards. There don't appear to be any filler cards. So we will take a close look at all of the cards. As you can see, they're gilded. Beautiful cards, beautiful backing. Striking with the onk. All right, so let's take a look at all of the cards. Here we have the Fool. Take a close look at them. They are numbered. Le Fool. I'm not going to try to read these because I'm sure, I, I'm sure I'll pronounce a lot of them incorrectly. 
So we're just going to take a look at this. Very pretty. Maybe I'll look online to see if I can find some descriptions for them in English. That is really pretty. Very pretty card. You have numbers on top. And they do not appear to follow the Rider Waite Smith uh, imagery. Very different. Very beautiful. because these cards are a little sticky. They appear to be sticking to one another. I have to say I love the colors and it appears that each of these are paintings maybe. Very pretty, the colors. And everyone, I'm really sorry about the, the lighting today. It's kind of cloudy outside, so I don't have the best natural light. I do have overhead lighting, but it's yellow, so it would like discolor everything. There's a mail. I actually love the idea, though, that this deck is focused around women. It's special. It's nice to see a beautiful deck. That is sort of centered around women. That is a really cool card. The Chariot. So, well, we do have a card that was stuck together. Now that's odd. This is the justice, but this looks like a strength or force. That's really odd. I wonder, wonder if that's a mistake. Maybe a a misprint. I'll have to see if the strength card is actually justice. Oh, that's pretty though. Wow, these cards are definitely sticky. These are really glossy cards. I don't have a deck that's this glossy. Very sticky. Oh yeah. So it says La Force or La Force. But clearly this is should be justice. Oh, it's a pretty card though. Look at the colors. Pendu, I guess, maybe is the uh, the hanged man. Oh. La Mort. That is cool. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. This temperance card. 
paintings. Beautiful soft quality. of ourselves. Very cool. Nice twist on the devil card. Makes more sense to me. I wasn't sure what to expect with this deck. Um, it was a total surprise and it was actually pretty affordable. This was, I, I want to say, 20 euro. And it seemed like a really nice package, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I definitely love the look of the cards and the quality seems to be really nice. And this is the first uh, gilded tarot deck that I have. Beautiful. Very dark. It's a good balance of dark and sort of magical. Definitely get more of a dark vibe though. Seems like uh, there's a dark romantic quality. That's really pretty. Even the sun card has the moon in it, which is really odd. And now this judgment card coming up. It's very cool, it's very dark. Wow. In the world. Beautiful image. simple and beautiful world card. So those were the major cards. Let's take a look at the minors now. And the Ace of Cups. Pretty. A lot of moons in this deck. Okay, so it doesn't appear to be a pip deck. Oh. Wow. And everyone, I'm sorry if, if I skipped a card because these are really stuck together and I'm trying to pull them apart without damaging them. So if I skip one, I'm really sorry. Look at that, a lot of detail. The images may be simple, but there's lots of detail in each image. I love this sort of dark quality with the moon and the sun, sort of like an ambient lighting to each card. of cups. Very pretty. Six of cups. A lot of angels. A 
makes me very curious as to who these female figures are historically or in myth. Very interesting. Makes me want to learn more about this deck. Each card is its own little story. And then with the moon. The Eight of Cups. See that a lot of them don't even have the cups in them. This is the Nine of Cups. I don't see a cup. But I definitely see kind of a dark looking figure with the moon on the forehead. Very dark. It's got an underlying dark vibe to it. Like something you can't might put your finger on, but it's romantic with the waves and the hair blowing. Looks like a black dove almost. Very dramatic. are so stuck. And the Queen of Cups, I think. Wow. A lot of blood going on here. For the King of Cups. Pretty. Hmm. Do not blindfold it as she would be in other tarot decks. Interesting. A lot going on. A lot of secret activity going on, it seems. A lot of people in shrouds and in the dark. Oh, that is pretty. That ray of light. Little butterflies. Looks like feathers, maybe. Or wings. The five of coins. Five of pentacles. So strange. 
sounds like a Pied Piper. Blow. Yeah, these are really different. Basket of eggs. Owl flying beside her. She's sort of floating in the air. The moon. If you love the moon, this is definitely a deck for you. A very dark deck. Even though there is some light and sun. There seems to be way more moon in this deck. And a lot of angels or harpies or winged folk. Light shining through the trees, like a little symbol there. Hmm. Ooh, I like this card. I could see this working as a shadow deck. There's a funny vibe I get from this deck already, just from the images. I did a flip through of the Night Sun Tarot, but for some reason I'm getting more of a shadow vibe from this deck. Who knows, maybe this is a, a darker deck in France. I wasn't expecting it though, it looks pretty bright. or wand. I love that. Definitely get an Egyptian vibe. This has been a big surprise. This deck is very different from what I thought it might be. I thought that the entire deck would have this uh, Egyptian sort of theme and vibe. Definitely does seem to have more of that vibe with the wands. Oh, that is creepy. Very creepy. Eee, spooky. And looks like that's the cover. The same. 
this would be a brighter, more cheerful deck. I couldn't be more wrong. This is one of the darker decks I own. There's blood and stabbings and darkness and secrets and kind of like an untrusting vibe. It's a beautiful deck though. Glad I picked it up. And it's nice to be surprised. Ooh, look at the tree. The tree's a human figure. Creepy. Wow. Maybe this would be a good deck for doing some shadow reading any kind of shadow work. I really love the artwork. The artist has done a great job in making these images mysterious and sort of dark. Even the ones that are bathed in light still have an underlying dark vibe to them. They are absolutely stunning. And I'm not sure how well you guys can see the images since I'm using my phone, but it is a beautiful deck. how different it is from a Rider Waite Smith deck. It's nice to have something that's completely different. The females in this deck are not only powerful, they're beautiful and mysterious. Gorgeous. There were a couple of images that sort of remind me, they make me think of a Frida Kahlo painting. Frida Kahlo is one of my most favorite artists. Her work always speaks to me. It says swords, but looks like it's sort of a, a hand axe. Stunning. That is gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna have to take my time and look through these images again because I'm sure I'm missing a lot. There's so much going on. Oh, I know there's a female figure that turns into a tree. And I can't remember if it's Greek mythology. But she turns into a tree. Maybe they're bits and pieces from Greek mythology. You know, maybe heroines from Egyptian lore. That is a stunning card. Beautiful. Wow. I love that card. Look at 
that. There's a harpy. I've always had a fascination with mermaids and harpies and mythical creatures and beasts. really radiates. Medusa? Turn them to stone. Whoa, wicked. That's so cool. She has wings. I love that. a lot going on, a lot going on in these images, the deck you want to take your time with, I know this will be a longer video, but it's been really nice sharing this with you, oh that is stunning. Blues just pop with the angels in the corner. Wow. Pomegranate. Hmm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and unboxing. Um, this is definitely an odd one for me. I'm kind of shocked, honestly. I expected a much lighter. Um, tarot deck you know that's my own fault I didn't do any research on this deck before I purchased it and so you know my responses here they're the initial responses I just really wasn't prepared um, it is a beautiful deck uh, very well made the box is gorgeous and I'm glad I purchased it it is a really dark deck, so, you know, this might be a perfect deck for some shadow work where I would really focus on the images and maybe not worry so much about, you know, reverse meanings and, and upright meanings right away. Just go on intuition and feeling and... Um, it is a lot darker than I thought this deck would be. It's still beautiful, nonetheless. And I would totally recommend it if, if you wanted to do a, if you wanted to purchase a deck that was used for shadow work. Um, again, this deck is called Le Tarot du Feminine Sacre. Um, and it's by Floriana Nativo. And it's illustrated by Franco 
Rivoli. It's an Editions Exergo deck. There's everything right here. And I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing flip through video. And I'll be back again probably next week uh, with another video for you guys. Uh, take care and have the best day.